What's going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Cardano bull run and when you should be taking profits. Correction, when I'm going to be taking profits and my plan because after all I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice and I'm just a dude in my mom's basement. Okay, so first things first, you're probably wondering why Cardano? Isn't the whole crypto market exploding and aren't we going to see a bull run in general? Why is this video just on Cardano? And to answer that, that's because my channel is mainly about Cardano, but also because that's where pretty much all of my investments lie in the Cardano ecosystem or Cardano ADA directly. So what is my plan for taking profits on Cardano? Well, to tell you short and simple, I plan on not taking too many profits. The reason for that being is because my conviction is very high in Cardano. And if my conviction remains high, I don't really see a need to sell unless I need that money directly. However, there is the benefit if you sell at the top of a bull run that you can then use that money that you sold for to buy back in at a much lower price. Hence, increasing your size of your position Hence, increasing the size of your position without actually tossing in any more dollar dollar. But with that aside, what types of profits would I consider taking if we are to see a $10 Cardano this year? To be honest, I would probably sell around 30% of my position. That's kind of in the plan for the past few months with this bull run. I do have a lot of conviction in Cardano, so I'm not really wanting to sell off a lot of my position because to be honest with you, I believe it's going to go up and I don't need a boatload of fiat currency right now. And what I plan on doing with this 30% is not converting it to fiat, but actually converting it over to DJIT, stablecoin built on Cardano, algorithmically backed. That is what I plan on doing. Around 30 to 50% of my total Cardano would be going into a stablecoin, not necessarily fiat currency, just so when we get to that peak, I can kind of take some out and then once we go back down, I would reinvest the difference to accumulate more ADA. That's the general plan, but in all honesty, things happen and you know, maybe I need some fiat currency and I sell off a little bit and I convert it to fiat. It's not 100% sure, but 30% is really that mark that I'm looking at and that's where I'm kind of aiming for if we are to see a high, high you know, bull rally up to 10, seven, eight, nine dollars. One of those ranges would incline me to kind of start thinking about exiting some of my position, aka 30%. Now, obviously, all of us want big things. Maybe you want a house, maybe you want a car. I don't know what you want, but what I want is generally a house. That is my end goal financially. That is what I'm building up towards so I can buy a house outright. A little bit ambitious, maybe, yes, but to get there, I don't think really selling, you know, at the top of the cycle, whether it be $10, and you can't really predict that too easily. It's not the easiest thing to time. Um, the easiest way is just to hold and to accumulate more. That is the simplest, easiest way. There's much less downturns. And there's much more ways to find upsides when you're just buying and you just buy and you just buy. Instead of you buy, sell, buy, sell trading doesn't really work out for me too well, usually. And for most people, it doesn't. There is a lot of people who are successful doing it. But when taking profits, just know it's probably best to set a mark where you're going to take 30% profits than to see how you feel. Set a mark ahead of time. My mark is 10 Canadian dollars, which works out to be about eight, eight ADA uh, in US, eight dollars ADA US. But that's my target. Your target might be different. Your goals might be different. Are you going to sell 50%, 100%, 90%, 10%? It's really up to you. But keep in mind, when you are holding Cardano, you can stake it and you can earn 4 to 6% with a stake pool such as the Jack stake pool. And then you're earning ADA on your ADA passively, no risk. You cannot, never locked up. So that's another good thing to remember. Make sure you're staking your ADA. But yeah. That's kind of my general game plan for taking profits. It's not too complicated. Set a percent amount that you want to take out at a set price. And then so let's say Cardano, I say at $30, how much would I consider taking out? At $30, I would consider taking out 50% of my Cardano. So that's kind of where I'm at. That's how I set it up. 
I look at a percent gain or I look at a dollar value price point that I would like to sell at and then I get my percentage of my holdings that I would like to sell rather than how much a percentage kind of fluctuates better depending on how much you've accumulated by the time it hits that price could be different could be a little bit skewed now conviction will come into play and you may feel differently about your decisions so you may have to adjust some of your profit margin takes or whatever else that will come with the time but having a little bit of a game plan to get in accumulate and to get out with some profits is always a good idea okay that's pretty much the whole video for today if you guys want more content on cardano make sure you hit the subscribe button the like button and stick with the jack pool because that's freaking awesome see you guys next freaking video it's been your friend jack peace out